Hey guys, and welcome back to my home office organization series. Today I'm going to be sharing the last two desks in my office, um, and I've kind of shown you a bit if you've been watching the series with the layout of the room and everything. Um, these are the desks that are up against this wall, so if my main desk is that way, these are that way, and the built-ins are directly behind the camera. There you go, a little orientation. But uh, I have two Pottery Barn Bedford desks side by side, pushed right together, um, with like three hanging lamps over them, and I use one desk specifically as my grooming station for my dog, my dog Winnie, who is a long-haired Shih Tzu. Um, I have a link to her blog below if you've never seen Winnie, which I highly doubt it if you've watched like any of my other videos because she's in most of them. Um, she's a cutie pie, but she's definitely a high maintenance uh, dog with her hair um, the way I choose to keep it. And uh, so I have a dedicated area to her. I'm very lucky to have so much space to be able to do so. And I use that desk twice a day. First in the morning for her, you know, to brush her out and get her bow in and looking, you know, fresh and nice. And then once again at night, quick brush out and I brush her teeth. So uh, I use that desk a lot. The desk right next to it is my sewing desk. Now I do not currently use this quite as often because when I set up the um, general layout of the room as it is right now, it was before I became a YouTuber and a blogger and all of that stuff, and it was when I had an intention of um, bringing a new hobby into my life, which wasn't yet YouTube, uh, I thought I would uh, have time to learn qu how to quilt, and um, that's just on my bucket list of things to do in my life, but my YouTubing um, stuff has kind of taken over any <laughs> area of uh, time, extra time for uh, new hobbies. So this is just sort of a, a desk in flux right now. I have it set up as a sewing desk, um, but um, I can just, I don't have the sewing machine plugged in all the time because I don't use it, you know, a lot. So uh, I can just lift it off and use that desk for other things. And I'm actually thinking of turning it into a mini, like a tabletop um, photo set for like close-up shots of things with like, you know, a nice little tabletop um, light setup. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you are familiar with photography, that'll probably make sense to you. But anyway, I'm going to take you in closer look right now. I decided to just combine these into one videos be video instead of separating into two because um, there's not an incredibly like huge amount of stuff to share, but um, let's, uh, let's take a look at, at my uh, other two desks. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an orientation here. Those are the built-ins on the left side there that go across the window, picture window wall of my office. And then on the next adjoining wall to the right are the two desks. Side by side, they are from the Pottery Barn Bedford collection in the antique white color. I have them pushed together along the wall. I also have two of the chairs and some of the daily wall system, organizational system, all from Pottery Barn. Information about these products will be linked on my blog. I bought the lights from Restoration Hardware a few years ago, um, and they just provide more lighting for those areas, especially with grooming Winnie and sewing. It's nice to have um, concentrated light overhead. I've repurposed this Lazy Susan that used to hold pens and pencils um, to house my most used grooming tools um, for easy access. And then I've also used um, wall storage components. These are also from Pottery Barn. It's part of the daily system um, to kind of bring things up off the desk and onto wall storage, which is a nice way to keep the desk clear if you have the space on your wall. Um, the wall, the daily system comes with different components. Some are no longer available. I will show pictures and everything on the blog. Um, but as you can see, I've put to use every bit of the space here so it's easy for me to access the things I need most frequently when grooming Winnie um, and also keeps uh, information at the ready. I have four sets of drawers for my grooming desk, two on the left and two on the right. The top drawer on the left side has my most used items, including towels and a lint roller. I have some little 
buckets or dishes, I don't know what to call them, with Q-tips and um, cotton balls and more treats. Um, also, this is where I keep um, her ear cleaner and also the um, shaver for her belly. I shave her belly during the summer. Trimmer, excuse me, I think that's what it's called. And then I have the pillow that I use to put under her head when I'm fixing her bows, as well as baby wipes for general cleaning things. Um, so easy to reach, all in one place, um, and right to my left. In the bottom drawer, I have extra things, um, kind of backups, um, some products I'm not using, an extra lint roller, um, you know, cotton balls, a different uh, kind of busted um, grooming pillow. Um, also, more of her treats. These are the best, the cheese please treats. She loves those. That's what I give her after her grooming every day as her reward. And then I have two shoe boxes. These are from the container store um, with extra... Uh, rubber bands and then also extra um, grooming tools like brushes and scissors and things of that nature. Drawers to the right I have less frequently used um, items but still having to do with Winnie and grooming. On the top I have her uh, some first aid sorts of things like her soft cone and her cones. Um, I usually have extra grooming mats there but um, I'm due to wash them. I also have you know, a travel pouch where I keep all of her travel things for when we go away with her, usually to Utah or St. Louis, those are the places we take her. Um, you know, her sent her medication that she gets on a monthly basis, and also um, a baggie full of manuals and things of that nature. I just like to keep those all in one place. And essential to any pet owner is a canine first aid kit. Um, of course, a dog owner. I think I don't know if there'd be a different one for cats, but the, I bought this as is, and then I kind of added things that I thought were necessary to have in as well. I think this is a good thing that anybody should have. Uh, the bottom drawer has a um, larger sized towels that I use only on the days that I wash her, and I wash her once every other week. Um, and those are I use when I'm drying her, um, just to protect the table and keep her warm. The newest thing that I bought for the d grooming desk organization are these four um, paper storage boxes from the container store. I believe they're by um, Stockholm is the brand. I'm not quite sure. There'll be a link in the blog. Um, but they're just really colorful, easy to access um, table top, desktop uh, organizers for her bow collection. Um, and I wanted this instead of the rolling cart I was using before for easy access, like I said. And I like the way the colors match my color scheme in the office. So I have organized these by um, basically by color and also by holiday. So the top has pink bows, um, the top drawer I mean, uh, going down on the left side here. There's some yellow and orange and peach bows as well as spring and summer specific holiday bows um, for like the 4th of July and Easter and stuff like that. Then green and blue and then purple in the bottom. Um, so I've just basically organized them by color on that side. And on the right side, I have decided to organize them. I think the top drawer is the red and the black bow. So these are the, the drawers on this side are more for uh, fall, winter, and the drawers on the left are more for spring, summer. So I can easily move the drawers, you know, rotate them around when the seasons change. Um, so here are some of the her uh, fall bows, the Christmas bows were in the last drawer, and then um, some extra things like little baggies and her baby bows and things like that. Um, and I, I like this. I'm still kind of deciding on it. Um, it's nice to be able to pull out the drawers and have them on the top. That's why I haven't labeled them yet, but I think I'm going to keep them. To the right of the grooming desk is my sewing station, which as I mentioned in the intro, I don't actually use quite as often, um, but I still have it set up as a, a sewing station. So I have similar components, I have daily wall system here, um, not much stored in there, like I said it's not really functioning space right now, but it is functional if I want it to be. And I have my sewing machine on top and I've just kind of tucked my cords behind because I don't use the sewing machine that often using my favorite command hooks by 3M to corral cables behind the desk. I like doing this. Uh, if you watch my cable management video behind my um, main desk too, um, I have everything set up but nothing plugged in. 
I have two sets of drawers again. On the left here I have two small drawers and the top I've just thrown in some of my favorite drawer organizers from the container store. They're clear. I have a lot of them on hand at any given time and just using them to sort and store different sewing things. Bobbins from the sewing machine, pins, that sort of thing, thread. Um, the second drawer down has more kind of miscellaneous sewing items, um, some projects, a class I was going to take but never did, and some, you know, a scrap fabric, and this little tin has some patches and, and other things in it. It's just sort of a mishmash of things, but they're all in kind of in an orderly fashion and tucked away out of sight. Um, so, you know, I know where they are if I need them, um, but, um, you know, I don't need them out all the time. And the bottom drawer, you see, I haven't even labeled it because it's not set in stone, but I keep some polyfill in there as well as my uh, sewing kit that I use most of the time when I'm patching things. So this is what I can keep all of my, um, you know, if I'm going to patch holes or something like that, but sewing by hand basically. I just have thread of different colors and, and needles and, you know, tags. Um, with buttons and things like the thread from certain sweaters and stuff I have. I just keep this all in one spot for easy um, touch-ups. I can take this little box, this little toolkit anywhere with me. I got it from the container store some time ago. I do have a couple of things on the floor underneath the sewing desk. I don't like to keep things on the floor if I don't have to, but it's the pedal to the sewing machine and then a basket full of toys to patch up for Winnie. And then I have another drawer here on the right side, a shallow drawer with more, you know, just general sewing tools and implements. Um, I don't know if you really want me to go through everything, but, you know, I just have them organized with using drawer organizers. I have uh, one sewing book that comes in handy. And then the basket on the bottom is where I keep things that I need to um, work on to fix at some point. Um, you know, just usually by hand or it's a couple of sewing uh, machine projects. And here again is that bin of Winnie's toys that need have holes or need, you know, need to be sent to the pet toy hospital for repair. So now you've seen the last two like furniture desk areas of my office and um, the next video will be of my closet. I've been referring to it as my craft closet but it's really kind of just turned into a storage slash craft closet. Um, but then after that I will do a, a whole tour to kind of give you guys a sense of the room, the layout, because I know it's a little bit hard in, in sort of disjuncted videos to understand like what the room looks like, like all together. Uh, but I will post a, a, an after tour after that, and then that will wrap up this series. So we're coming to a close here. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, have enjoyed uh, watching, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.